everybody welcome to the video so let's just jump into it hi stefan my name is johnny johnny be good i don't want to give his real name just in case people want to keep anonymous my name is johnny and i am curious about taking your course but i have a couple questions i am over 50 years old is it too late to start a new career as a web developer or becoming a coder. I would want to do mainly freelance. I have some basic computer skills, but to be honest, I have no college degree and I have been into computers for a long time and feel like it might be a good career. I would be basically starting from scratch. If you think it is not too late, what course or languages would you start out first with? Uh, thanks for your time. Um, so if you want to go freelance, the number one choice for freelance is of course the web stack. So that means HTML5, CSS3, a touch of JavaScript and PHP. Now PHP is a choice for freelancing because so many small businesses rely on PHP for their websites. And there's a lot of content management systems out there, CMSs as the nerds would call them like WordPress and Drupal and Joomla, which are built with PHP. So it's a really good choice of a programming language uh, to accompany the web stack. There are other choices out there like JavaScript for backend and uh, Python as well. But again, within the context of freelancing, that is the way to go. Now, if you're in your 40s and 50s and you want to get into this new as I've said in many videos, people watch my videos know this, uh, the, key, the key or the way to go is probably freelance with some exceptions. Exceptions are, number one, perhaps you are moving from career A into the uh, programming world. Maybe you're a nurse or maybe uh, you're a bookkeeper. Maybe you're an accountant. Uh, maybe you're an experienced restaurant manager. In that situation, you may be able to, to apply your knowledge from your current career or your soon to be previous career and combine that with nerd coding power. And together, you're gonna have some pretty formidable skills. So for example, perhaps you could become a consultant for a chain of uh, restaurants who wanna learn, who want to implement technology in their restaurants, whether it be mobile apps, whether it be web advanced website for order taking, what have you, et cetera. So your domain knowledge in the industry you happen to have been working in could be used and combined with coding knowledge to get a job as an IT professional, as a software developer, maybe as even uh, somebody who's in charge of implementing for a smaller company. You're gonna have to learn, but you know, you can learn as you get paid because there is a lack of skilled developers in the world today. Uh, that is uh, for sure. On the other hand, if you want to do freelance, then being uh, somebody in your 50s, freelancing and even older, 60s, and older is entirely possible, actually. And, and it actually is a very good situation to be in because there are a lot of baby boomers who... Uh, who uh, are starting businesses, who have small businesses, and they may not want to implement uh, their WordPress site. They may not want to implement their shopping cart solution, et cetera. So this is where you can come in as a, freelance, a freelancer writing code for people. So yeah, it is extremely viable. It's a different career track than if you were 18 or 19 years old at that age, or 25 or 30 years old at that age, you may go work for a startup gain some experience there. Uh, but at 50, I don't think the startup world, for the most part, would be for you. That being said, I have a friend of mine, one of my former mentees and uh, Studio Web student. He uh, has a startup and he has, you know, and his startup is pretty successful for, for startups. And, you know, Google is one of the companies invested with him. And uh, I think one of their hires, one of their managers was a guy in his late 50s they brought him in for his skill uh, in terms of managing staff and employees and so forth. So there is that opportunity as well. Although that guy is not strictly a coder. As I've said on many occasions, even if you're 
job or your career aspirations is not to actually write code on a daily basis. Having a good understanding of the fundamentals of software development, coding in general, understanding the lay of the land is just going to make you a far more valuable uh, individual in the uh, out there in the world. That is for sure. So I highly recommend it. So if you want to get into it, you can get into it. I have students who've done my Studio Web courses, and they've gotten jobs beating out people with comp sci degrees with just a, a month or two uh, of training. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm shamelessly self-promoting. I know I have to do it a little bit every now and then. I don't do it enough. Uh, check out my courses. I have a structured curriculum and a set of courses designed to teach people what I would want them to know if they were going to work for me. Uh, this is the web stack, so HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, Python, PHP, SQL, databases, etc. Once you got that, the world is your oyster. So uh, there you go. I hope that's useful. Bye-bye.